So uh, we, we've been uh, this season starting off with some warm up questions um, for people that have nothing to do with the, the podcast or the topic at hand. Um, so we want to hear what what's the best meal or recipe that you make? I would say that, you know, a favorite meal, I discovered this a couple of um, years ago. It's called rendang. It's a Indonesian dish. Um, and um, it's traditionally made with a, a cut of um, uh, uh, of beef that's like a, a kind of a, I think not a, a chuck roast or whatever. I'm not eating beef anymore. So like I've been trying, I did it with a rabbit once and uh, some chicken. Mm-hmm. But I think the thing I love about it is it's just like this combination of flavors that uh, is intense and out of this world that is, well, until the point I ate it, was relatively unfamiliar to uh, me. So uh, Awesome. Um, <laughs> I think John Marin may have introduced me to it, by the way. Oh, also, I'm going to ask him another. for uh, to ha- have yeah. me over when he gets back. <laughs> Get the recipe. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so what would you say is your most impressive non-scientific skill or talent? Um. Well, I started running a year and a half ago on sabbatical, oh. and I'd never, ever run before. And um, I don't know if it's impressive to anybody else. I don't like looking at myself while, you know, like if uh, I'm on – but I would say it's changed my life. And so from that perspective, wow. um, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Um, so how about dead celebrity or historical figure, including scientist, if you choose? Um, which of those would you want to have – or which, what person would you like to have a beer with? Probably Darwin, I guess. Yeah. Um, there you go. <laughs> um, I haven't like studied all of his stuff, but I've read some of it and I have some questions. <laughs> <laughs> I have some questions. <laughs> um, what's the most beautiful place you've ever been? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, Torres del Paine in Patagonia, southern, I think it's on the Argentinian side. Uh, long hike, 10 day hike, glaciers. Um, I think, well, I'm going to change it. It's it's the few places I've gone in the world that I've been able to drink the water from streams. So a, a Wrangell St. Elias in Alaska and uh, northern Sweden. They're typically, my favorite places are going to be long hikes, but, um, you know, where you can just dip down into the water and drink it. Um, <laughs> you know, I... That's, that adds to the... I know. used to do that when I was a kid in Colorado. Uh, Rocky yeah. Mountain surface water. I drank a lot of it. And sort of in retrospect, yeah. I wonder how much strange stuff I got in my gut now because of that. I know. It explains a lot. Giardia art. Um, 